So Jason is going to speak on behalf of us and just kind of share our collective feelings about the contract closing. Um, and this is a great opportunity to learn more about our city government and city council and to see what a city council meeting is like. Some of you kiddos remember that from last time we went over. Okay. Um, so here is some context for the pop-up park. Um, the Reading Bike Hub, as a project of redesign Reading, signed a lease with the Redevelopment Authority, who owns the pop-up park property. They own 924 to 28 Penn Street. And they agreed to be partners with us and let us use the space for free, with the understanding that if they found someone to buy the space or they wanted to develop it, they would give us a 30-day notice and we would have to close down the pop-up park. So we had um, hoped going into this agreement with them that because they have so many properties all over the city to work on, um, that once they saw the pump track in all of its glory and they saw the kids and adults working on it and that it was this community space and center, that they would focus their efforts on the many, many, many other areas and spaces of the city that need some TLC. Knowing the redevelopment authority is a really small authority um, there's only a couple of staff, like all uh, organizations, they have a finite budget. Um, so when I received a letter of the pop-up park closing, um, in a lot of ways I was really, really surprised and disappointed, um, just like all of you. Um, so what I'll tell you is that their letter from the Redevelopment Authority states the reason that they're closing down the pop-up park that they are going to demolish the, the building, you know, if you're standing this way to the left of it, and to develop that space. Um, that's the official reason stated. What I'm going to be really frank and honest um, in telling you, and trust that you'll, you know, take this information um, responsibly, is that um, from my experience, my knowledge, the city administration um, was not a fan or supportive of the pop-up park for the entire duration of the project. Um, and I won't go into too much detail, but I will tell you that um, I was made aware, Jason was made aware on more than one occasion, um, that the mayor and other administration didn't like how it looked. Um, they didn't like that um, they, they viewed it as mounds of dirt. The Redevelopment Authority has given us their notice, and they've made their decision, and we need to respect that. Um, it is their property um, to do with what they want. Um, and our board of directors, so the board of directors of Redesign, um, have voted to you know, accept this, this notice of them and to dissolve the pump track project. So what I can tell you organizationally is that this closing is a done deal. Um, and what I hope we can take from this is first reflecting on all of the successes that we have had. Now my kids took their whole summer last year and spent it every day building, trying, well, you know, participating and building. I even volunteered. There's not much these kids can do out here. Parks is not safe. You know, families can't put their kids in after school program because they don't have the efficient funds for it. My thing is, let the kids enjoy what they look forward to every day when they wake up to go ride their bikes and play. You know, they're doing good in school, they're behaving, they're doing everything they have to do. Just, you know, respect the kids too.
Yeah. So you look right across from the pump tracks. So yep. You see how many people are using yep. it. Yeah. Yeah. Every yeah, a bunch of kids using it every day. So the after school in the summer, we see people running in the pump truck. Yeah. And the plus is that we clean it, more trash. And that's it. You don't want to do nothing about it. You don't want to pick the trash. Like you see, um. BS bottle, trash can, garbage, him, I like needles, um, do a lot of stuff in there. At least you have to be a license, it's a, it's a restroom. You have to get the clean, I mean, it's a restroom. <laughs> That particular yeah, area, trio. somebody's gonna buy it. But you told me about not it. to shut us out completely, that there's other spaces around Cherry Street, around my house or around the corner, that they're willing to build a better one and a bigger a big one. Are they gonna pay for it? Uh, that's exactly. what Wally Scott said. Exactly. So why don't okay. you come up with yeah. a plan? Yeah. With so a questionnaire. Yes. When, where, how? Mm -hmm. Because well, Redesign Ready paid for the pump truck. Right. So we will build five pump trucks in the city. That's why you paid for the pump Oh, I want a dirt jump track. We'll see. We'll see. That's right. Yeah. We'll see. Put up the questionnaire and I will make sure he gets the person. So I didn't know he was going right. to speak after relapse. So he said the city had the guy next to him mm -hmm. to build the pump truck. Mm -hmm. To relocate. To relocate and, and put it'll it bigger be, and better. And he said it'll okay. be better. Okay. Well, he can't. But see, he can't make that promise without getting approval right. from. Well, that's what he said that they they're trying to find, yeah. they're trying to find, and that's you know, right. being that there's oh, yeah. so many buyers for Pine Street. Yeah. I've been in Reading. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why all the vacant buildings are there. Yeah. That's why the property <laughs> sat there for a decade. There's so many vacant. I mean, there's lots of kids going. They have competitions and stuff, but beautiful. Where are we going?